Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing it. Yes, my whiz, my earth, my wife, Mrs. Face herself. Say hi. Hello. A lot of y'all have been asking for it. Y'all, I've a lot in the comments saying do a couple reactions. So I know I've already reacted to this one, but I thought that this one would be a perfect one to start off with. If you guys are liking this, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you want to see more. Bill's Burr, motherhood isn't the toughest job. Let's go. I thought this would uh, start off Fantastic. nice and awkward. The other day I got into an argument with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out of my girlfriend, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so... Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> Basically, what he's talking about makes me feel like when you're watching uh, trash TV, mm -hmm. And I come in down. And when he was saying about the passive aggressive, uh, where you see something and you like basically you're arguing with that. That's literally what I do all the time when I see something. And then I'll get into a large uh, argument with it. So he's basically explaining. Yeah. <laughs> How many mothers died oh, on ice road Jesus. truckers last season? <laughs> <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? <laughs> You'd send them to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges, because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. What do you think about what he's saying so far? Being a mother. Um, you definitely don't just get to send your kids off to bed. <laughs> okay? They, ha they go to bed when they want to, not when you want to. Oh, goodness. I'm already sweating, y'all. Yep. This is for y'all. Y'all asked for this. Keep going. What else? Um, that's it pretty far. Okay, so she's here. She's giving the, the other it, side I of mean, it. I mean, we, you know, uh, roofing in July, that is hard, you mm -hmm. know, but let's keep going. But you see what he's saying, though? Yeah. Yeah, okay. See, this is what she's here, giving the, the other side, the mother's side. I thought that that oh. was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But evidently, evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. Going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! <laughs> you ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. <laughs> Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. I will say, she refuses to use a dishwasher. Since we've been together, I don't think well, actually, no, you do use the dishwasher. Wait, what? How do you know? We've never used the dishwasher we have, no. but in the other places we live, have we? No. I, I use the dishwasher to, like, store stuff as a foreigner. <laughs> so she's so foreign, right, that I was confused. Because I was like, wait, we do use the dishwasher. And then I remembered, it's we wash everything by hand. The only time we use a dishwasher is to dry things. Yeah. So she'll put... Hey. Wash it with your hands. Yeah, well, hey. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. <laughs> it isn't. I'm sure it's. Yeah, to hell with these mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the cartoons, taking method. naps. But the men will never. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult That's job, but I'm the sweating. most difficult job on the whole planet. Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. 
You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest <laughs> with yourself. Or Bluey. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dog yeah, recently. Yeah. I did, I went down to the pound, oh, I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious, it's a complete exaggeration. She's a rescue, yeah, I rescued her. Really, did you pull her out of a burning building? Was, was Juicy a rescue? No. No? No, no. Okay, just, we, uh, well, she used to have a dog when we first met. The dog didn't like me, so. <laughs> I got rid of the dog and I kept him. I won. So. <laughs> she went to a good home. I didn't just <laughs> get rid of her like I that. won regardless. Yeah, hey, yeah, I spun on you. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? <laughs> Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? <laughs> Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards crawling on your elbows, using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound? They're just giving them away. They don't even do a background check. You want them? Hey, get out of here. Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic okay. girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 50. She used to, there was a phase where you wanted a dog so bad. This was before we had a kid. Wanted a dog so bad, and when I would go like on tour and stuff, she would literally, what would you say? Um, I, I, have, a, I have a dog. Yeah, she would literally say, don't be surprised if you come home and there's a dog here. I'd be like, and then that one time, I, the, there was a dog in the street, and I picked it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She tried I rescued to, a dog. I she, really did. She literally did try to rescue a dog from uh, um, just a, where did you find the dog? Well, I was just driving when we were, yeah. Just driving Mill Street, hopped out like Wonder Woman. I felt bad. You tried to, And hey. I FaceTime you, and I was yep. like, look at this dog. We end up finding his owner, so. That's rescuing a dog, so. <laughs> Bill, huh? I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? <laughs> what would I need to know? So we're Skyping, I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something you could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so we're Skyping, I go, let me see it. So she pans around and I think I'm gonna see, you know, some little, little, Chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog. And it looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. <laughs> mix with what, another pit bull? Look at that thing. <laughs> Looks like it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Its front paws were still taped up and shadow boxing. It's got a teardrop tattoo, it's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. D Hold on. She's sitting there going, it was... Didn't you want to bring that dog home? No. Oh. I, I brought it over to the other lady's house that really rescued dogs. Oh, uh, he's... Uh... Sorry, we have to handle some real-life parent issues. Let's go. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. She's sitting there going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? No, it's scary, because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers, it was twisting. And that dog that I picked up, it was a literally a pit bull, and you were like, be careful, be careful. But he came to me and he was so sweet. You know what's the craziest thing is when I react to these, the reason why people, I think, have been requesting you to uh, show up is because when I react to a lot of these, and I wanted to react to this one specifically, is because I'd be like, man, he is literally speaking like my life. Like I, I say that all the time. Bill Burr's like one of my favorite people to react to. He but was so sweet though. Yeah, some of these exact. See, you see. I was so sweet, you guys. Like, I don't be lying. He, he literally was like, please help me, rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she. She's who's Bill talking about? <laughs> It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. 
you just rescue an alligator while you're at it? Stick it under the bed, add to the excitement. <laughs> You know, it's great though, I fell in love with the dog. Absolutely love this dog, and I'm totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. <laughs> Three, four blocks away, they see me coming, they immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Yeah. Black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. Oh, I'm mean, thinking it's gonna rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life, I've looked like Ron Howard. Do you realize that? <laughs> My whole life, I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull, I'm telling you, man. It's like a- Do you think we could ever have a pit bull? Um, yeah, we can. Even the, before Trunk and Tree had a pit bull. Oh, okay. And they're around kids. And so it just depends on how you raise them. I think I'd be a little nervous now that we have a son. Yeah. Um, but I think we, there are, they, you know, there's ups and downs from it. Yeah. I'm just not a, not saying that we are getting a dog. Just not a dog person until he's old enough to take care of it. That's my rule. Yeah. Because I ain't clean a poop. You feel me? I can't do it with the fur. Nope. Me neither. It's the best dog on the planet. You got to get a pit bull. I'm telling you, man. It's like a gun you can pet. <laughs> get two of them. Come down to you. Just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You like, it's just the whole world opens up for you. All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big-time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States, you know, they, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries? They're selling batteries and the commercial is, some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight, oh, thank God he had Duracell! You can see how wet I'm getting! That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out, then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And there comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? I feel like if it came down to it, I feel like you'd be down to get a kid chipped. An air tag? Yeah, for sure. I saw my mom like sew that in the kids like shoe, so like when they go to school you can see it all the time. Oh I don't my think that's a goodness. bad idea. You know what's the crazy part is I say like it sounds like some Terminator stuff. Yeah. But I guess if you say like in a shoe or something, my brain as soon as I think of microchip, my brain goes straight into the back of your skull. They implant a, a microchip, but then I guess I didn't even think oh, of the air tag. Tags, yeah. Oh, yeah. People the whole air tag suitcase. concept is they creepy. They put it in their though. suitcase. They put it in people use air tags all they the put time. Put them on uh, people's cars and get the oh, Addy. Yeah, hi, yep. <sighs> we live in a terrifying time. I ain't gonna lie to you. He didn't have an antenna. His sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't you show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kids. Hey, must go see mommy. <laughs> you guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, what did you think about that? He's, it was funny, it was funny. Okay, so, you know, I wanted to show you that more. I didn't. I don't know if this is more like your humor up your lane. I wanted to show it to you more because of what the actual video was. It's very relatable. Yeah, and I thought that I would get a mother's point of view. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time I've ever had my significant other up on this. So y'all be very happy. I want you to... Uh, uh, thank her for being a part of this. And if you want more of this, this is I'm letting y'all into parts of my life. If you want more of this stuff, uh, I'm really loving doing this channel, so I feel like I should do it for y'all. Hit the thumbs up button, and if this video does well enough,
We'll do another one.